Yeah, I just bought some uh, Fleischmann coaches, second hand. Bought a set of four, these are nice, DB, small um, length coaches. Suitable for various locomotives like the uh, Class 76, 78, small tank engines, etc. Really nice detail, but they're really dusty, really need servicing really bad. Um, the boxes, they all need cleaning out. I hate it when you get boxes and they're full of dust and microscopic, all sorts of stuff. Like they've been kept in an attic for quite a long time now, he's by the looks of it. With no dust control. But that's what you get when you buy second hand stuff sometimes. Don't bother me, man, just clean them out. I reckon the boxes, especially this type of box with the red logo on there. That's upside down. That would be, I reckon that is from the late 70s, this box and this loco, this coach rather, because I've had a lot of use. So, 40 years old, I reckon, these coaches, roughly around 40 years old. Uh, on the Fleischmann information site, you can see there, 1978 to 2011, is the production rate range of these particular types of boxes that these coaches are in. So I took one apart, I'm cleaning it down, took the roof off. There was a spring inside that was broken on the um, spring loaded coupling system that was, that was broke. Or rather sometimes they jump out, out of the mechanism. And I found it there anyway, uh, let's try, see if we can zoom in on it. It's a tiny metal bar, it's jumped out. Uh, so it just needs repositioning. To get to get it out on this particular coach, 5076, that's a box number there. You've got to take the roof off carefully, and it's held in with six clips. And you just prise them out very carefully. I, I use these uh, glue sticks, are brilliant. And then you get access to one of the end glazing panels for the end window which is there and then you take out the seating take out all that out give it a dust out as well and then you get access to the weight and the springs and that is the best way to access the springs you can take the body off from the chassis but it's a lot more uh, complicated and you've got more chance of the springs coming out where you don't want them coming out, like the left hand side one there is fine. So that's that, but the detail on the windows, for something that's so old, you can see a detail. Metal frames, that you can see it, it's hard to see on the camera. They're really nice, the detailing. That window's half open. There's another window half open. It's just brilliant. They're really good. Uh, and cleaning the wind, uh, the actual roof, because it had a lot of like mould on it and stuff. Cleaning that with Goo Gone and Trap Magic uh, with a brush, synthetic graduate type brushes. They're the ones they use. You just brush down with the I have a trap magic because that won't destroy plastic or goo gum. That's slower drying. Or you can use various other products. Um, so, yeah, and then what I do, I flooded the walkways with goo gum because there's a lot of dust in there. And I just brushed it all out, and took the excess off with a rag off the brush. And that's the best way to do it, rather than uh, trying to wash it with uh, water and soap and all that. Like, you've got a lot of fine detail, so you've got to watch you don't damage it. So that's that. Um, and Trap Magic I've been using for, for cleaning up the wheel sets. There's a lot of gun drill in there. Use that and a, an earbud for cleaning up the uh, wheels. Put more back, oil them, put that spring back. And then it, that's it, it's decontaminated then. Just going to attempt to put that micro bar back in. 
Yeah, so I'm nearly there with it. I just need to grab one side, push it into the position, pull the coupling bar into position, push the bar into the lug on the coupling. That's the key thing. It's not engaging correctly. Oh, hang on, it's in. It's in one side there. It's in the left hand side's in. The middle's in. It's just that right hand side needs putting in into position a bit more. I think. It, it's really tricky to do. It's nearly in, but one the right hand side isn't quite in. There we go, that's it. It's now in both sides. It's such a tricky thing to do. And that's working correctly now. Spring loading back how it should be. Like I say it is you don't have to have these spring loaded couplings, but it is it does make them work slightly better. Keeps the coupling central as well for coupling up. That's what the idea of it is for anyway. Right, so I'm just going to put the seat in back. So we've got to be careful now putting this in. We, won't, we don't want the springs jumping out. Because that would make you uh, want to scream. There we go, nice and gently goes in. No force. That's working, both sides are working, so that's good. And then we put these uh, glazing, the, these end glazing panels go in one way, a special way as well, you've got to line them up the way they fit. Because they're sort of spring loaded plastic. There we go, that's it. The spring loaded plastic, so as you can see, the uh, ends of the plastic got cuts in them which allows flexibility when it pushes up against the other glazing panels so that just pops into place that's done roof is ready to go on check the other end of the glazing panel and what I could do is add people if I wanted but I'm not going to do that because it's uh, it's uh, not a lit, a, lit, a lit up coach so it's not going to be really noticeable to people, but you could add a couple of people in there. So I'm happy with the cleaning of the uh, walkways on the end. The inside's okay, so all it, is, all it is then is putting the roof back on. And I don't think it matters which way you put a roof back on, I'm not sure. Anyway, that lines up on the lugs. That's it. Goes on a lot easier. And I just wipe off the excess goo gone when that dries out. I'll just that takes a while to dry. And it's just a matter of oiling the axles, putting the wheels back on. Also, when I'm taking out and changing flashman couplings, oh, this has got a KD, KD or whatever you want to call it. I want, I want that out. You just gently press the lugs. The inner lugs with a pair of angled nose pliers and that's what I, I'd rather do that than try to pull them out 
Me force. That's it. If you pull them out with force, then that's what causes sometimes the bar on the inside to jump out. <clears throat> so that's that one done. Let's change that for a proper flashman coupling. Yeah, so I'll get my flashman coupling. Profi. What I tend to do as well is use sounds daft, but a WD-40 pen. It's got like a little pump action thing on the end, and then what I do is it oil. I just put a bit of WD-40 on the end of the coupling there. If you do that, then it slots in a whole lot better into the uh, NEM coupling pocket. So I'll just grab that with a pair of pliers, stop it moving around. And there you go. That should push. That's it. Goes in so much easier. Just using a bit of WD. Um, no mess pen. Yeah, just using the Fleischmann oil. And you apply it by sticking a long, thin piece of wire into the oil container, and you just get the exact amount you need. So you're not going to over oil it. That's the idea of that. It's actually spilled over this in the past. It's not got a lot in here, so yeah, so that's a box clean cardboard, clean the best I can. Um insert and the two parts of the jewel case box cleaned up. It's in really good condition now. I mean it is in pretty good, it just needed a really good clean because it had a, quite a bit of mould, micro mould particles and dust from the attic, from someone else's attic. So anyway that's all done, put that back together. Yeah you can always tell an early Fleischmann plastic jewel case or box, plastic box, by the red logo on the front here and where the the cast the injection point for the plastic is there it's uh, not brilliant the way it's done if you compare it with an 80s box up to about 90s going through the 90s in 2000s they made these boxes these are much better Castings are a lot more tidier. See a difference there. It just closes a lot better. Yeah, I've just used a small amount of Evo Stick Rapid on one of these brackets <coughs> where it's been uh, forced opened in the past and it's slightly bent the bracket which holds it in place, the roof. So I push it forward. Sorry, not that one, it's this one here. I push it, pushed it forward back into position and then reinforced it with some uh, Evo stick rapid. It's about five minutes set on that so that'll be good to go. Just using a block of steel, stainless steel there to um, put pressure on the roof. <coughs> Just going to use some Evo stick rapid, really small amount. Just for dabbing onto that, there's a slightly broken step, which is here, and I'm just going to just dab a really small amount on there. That'll hold it in position. You can cover over it with some black paint afterwards, but this is what I use for repairing um, plastic steps etc on uh, wagons and coaches that are snapped. Yeah, so there they are all cleaned up and ready for use. All the couplings all working correctly.